Here are the epithelial slides. First we have simple squamous. We have another photo of simple squamous. We have a slide of stratified squamous. We have simple cuboidal. Simple columnar. Pseudo stratified. Adipose. Fibro cartilage. Loose or areolar. Bone. Dense. Hyaline cartilage. Elastic cartilage. We're going to be going over uh, this model of the skin here, your layers of the skin. So starting off, uh, this purple layer on up is going to be epidermis. So this purple layer does include epidermis. What this little black right here is showing is like on a heel, you know, you have callous skin where it's built it up and it got a little bit thicker. So that's going to be a callus. So this would include epidermis and so will that purple layer. Next layer you need to know is the dermis. That's anything below that epidermis and above that hypodermis. So this is all dermis. Okay. These little yellow things are representing fat globules. And so from the fat, globu fat globules on down, that's hypodermis. That's all you need to know for the layers. Here we're going to take a look at an osteon. Um, an osteon is a fun fundamental unit of a bone. And right here you can see this um, entire circle here is going to be one osteon. In the very middle there you can see a haversion canal. That's going to be the central canal. Um, that's going to be where an osteon uh, expands from. After that you can see each concentric ring here and that's going to be your lamellae going all the way out. And then you can see these little lake type things in here, little holes, those are called lacunae. In between each of the lamellae you're going to see canuliculi and those are just going to be commu communicating between each of the lamellae. These lacunae will then be filled with osteocytes and then if we zoom out here you can see this is an example of a bone and you can see many osteo or many osteons making up one bone and these are just the concentric rings those lamellae that are in a uh, raised form so each one of these is an example of a lamellae uh, here we'll look at parts of the bone the shaft of here is going to be made of uh, mostly compact bone. And then up here at the ends of the bone is going to be made of spongy bone. As you can see here, um, it looks somewhat like a sponge. Uh, that provides a little bit of cushion, a little bit of give at the joints. Um, make walking around a lot, a lot easier on your body. Now we're going to go over the uh, parts of the bone. Uh, the first one we're going to start off with is the shaft of the bone. That's going to be called your diaphysis. And then the end of the bone is going to be called your epiphysis. Then there's going to be an imaginary place in here in uh, young specimens uh, where, uh, where bone growth will actually occur. As you get older, um, the more and more growth that happens, uh, less your bones can grow. Then you're going to eventually grow to this shut uh, line here. That's going to be called your epiphyseal line. And then that can be followed right along here. And that is how endochondral bone growth occurs.